Fireworks outside. <laughs> Sitting in shillings. I don't want to close my window, it's warm in here. There's been fireworks at the last hour, but they keep going off like every well, like one firework every 20 minutes. It's really weird. My thin frames on today, and my hair keeps going in front of my eyes. Oh god. Okay. Uh... Hello, and Alex. Hi, Stephen. How are you doing? Pretty good, Alex. How are you doing? I. I baked lighting uh, the other day and it looks alright still definitely needs some adjustment on the lighting but we're getting closer like these dark spots far too dark I wonder if that's because of our light map resolution on the drawers though because look when we turn it off that already looks better just not baked lighting so I wonder if we turn that up we'll get some better results because these aren't as dark This isn't too bad. Chill file. It's great. I have time to get back into Blender and I mean to catch your streams. Nice, man. I feel like I'm... I feel like... It's a good Why? Your name looks really familiar. <laughs> Am I being stupid? You're going to be like, yeah, I'm like your best mate. I'm like... Oh yeah, look, this has got some really dark spots as well. So I wonder if we turn it up on here. Uh, one, two, eight. Ah, let's go ham. Two, three, six. Chair's fine. Up here? Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. Wow, that's some 2000. I know it's a very large object, but I'm surprised I look so low res. It's not low res down here, is it? No. Is that, is that being caused by... No. See, what does it look like with or without that? See that? Oh, that's a massive difference. Oh, it doesn't even bake the shadows here very well. I guess it is kind of low res. Let's, let's go have and go up to 4096 on that. So we're going to do a bake. I know it's going to be boring to sit here and watch me just bake something, but... She should... Well, she actually looks quite nice from the lighting. The fact that she's so still and just bug-eyed. I was once here a while ago for several streams. You were making a like caveman game for someone. Yes. That actually they they've actually started advertising that places. Had platforms that broke and also car I think a co-worker or someone drew. I really, I should actually put some text in the books. Down here, definitely. Why does this wall look so? Oh, right, because the lighting's been reset on it. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it's like that up here too. Uh, I think this needs to be brighter, maybe a six. 
So the problem is you bake it and then you get like all that detail. But down here definitely needs it needed to be lighter. Uh, so we're gonna go seven. And this, despite being on a hundred, is not doing anything. And I'm wondering if it's because of the the glass. Can you bake through glass? I'm not sure if you can. Mm. I will turn this one up to one two eight. In here it looks pretty good, but again, it's quite dark. So I think I'm going to have to move these away, uh, closer to the walls a little bit. Edge them down. Make them three, which is 50% more. Hey, dedicated ghost, how's it going? How's it going, bros? My name is PewDiePie. <laughs> Man, I remember watching PewDiePie back when... Um, uh, he probably doesn't even do that interest, uh, interest intro anymore. Uh, but I remember when he used to do that intro. He had like Jet Set Go. He probably still does that, actually, which was the uh, like. Uh... Top of the morning, dear laddies. My name is Jet Set Guy. Uh, it was the let's make an asset for fun. Right. I was like, cart? Yeah, you're right. It was like a cart. Like, um. This one. This is quite fun. Um, I actually really enjoyed making this. It's not super detailed because I kind of wanted to drop it and go back onto making up my scene. Um, but yeah, honestly. If you saw what I did recently, that was quite fun. I took a break, but now I'm back. It looks so good. Thanks, man. I don't know why I paused there. Thanks. <laughs> Check's hand. Man. So maybe like here, but turn this one to like a, a one. Like really, really low. So I'm just trying to light up this room. I know realistically this room would be quite dark. But I don't want it to appear too dark. Because I, I still want it to sort of look lit up. Maybe, uh, maybe I do need to add some lights to the room. Maybe that's why. Well, uh, adjust these to one, two, eight. Yeah, I was wrapping up. Uh, I just read that. I swear that just came up again. Very dark under here too. But uh, maybe, maybe we need to do a little bit post-processing magic as well. Like go into our gamma, gamma shadows. Shadows. Maybe make our shadows just a tad lighter. I mean, it's hard to say before we bake because now I think it's looking a bit more flat because we haven't baked. Okay, let's do a bake. Let's get baked. Oh, yeah. Wait, it says no one's viewing. Did you, like, le left? Did you all leave? Come on, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Come back. This hasn't been edited, so I should just turn this up. See, it's not making any interior bounce. Let's send it to a stationary instead. Let's see what that does. All right, let's do a bake. Let's get baked. I'm here, but I saw it. It's a zero as well. <laughs> you don't count as a person, Alex. I'm sorry. YouTube doesn't allow that. <sighs> All right. So while we bake lighting, um, no, I guess not. <laughs> At least I recognize you. I definitely remember. I think it's the logo as well. I can't even really see it. See it from back here. I think it might see your last name. It's like, but it's like a gray, uh, a gray gradient. And I, I remember that. It was like black writing in the middle. <clears throat> and I was like, I look familiar. I've got this. You see this like curly strand right here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. 
I added stuff to my portfolio recently. It's all been good recently for this kind of stuff. I, I have a job now. Did I have a job when? Yeah, if you saw me doing the car, I had a job then. Uh, I've had this job for like six months now. It's been really good. Um, very limited art team, admittedly, but it means more work for me. And I like it. It's nice coming back to the work I have at the moment in my job and going, I did this. We buy kits as well. In fact, 60 70 percent of the game is done through kits, and then I reworked them and work them into our levels, and then I make hero assets. There's chip. It's the first logo I made for myself seven years ago on YouTube. I was gonna make videos, but wanted to just create art instead. That's fair enough. Um Clear us trailer floor. You know what? Let's make a bag of money. Well, actually no, let's not make a bag of money. Let's make a bad bag which you'd assume would have money in it. You know, like those, like it gets real fat at the bottom when it hits the floor. Oh, not quite like that. Let's um, subdivide it once. Like this, there you go. And then divide it, subdivide it again. There you go. Like when it hits the floor, it gets like fatter like that. Kind of like this. Mm, kind of. Not quite. What's going on in there? Let me. Oh, how did I do that? Dude, that doesn't look right at all. Let's go back to there. Yeah. Into the center, thank you. Yeah, let's do that like three times. Ski. Hey man, how's it going, man? Jesus. Like read your name and bre very briefly was like, who's this? Who's this distinguished gentleman? Uh I was like, alright. <laughs> uh just making a bag of gold while I wait for my scene to render. Not quite what I'm looking for, but Deleting the wrong edges. Oh god. All oh, right, this one's coming inside here. Yeah. I mean, this one a bit too small, you know. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll again want to squeeze this part in here. Yeah. Let's get back gold. Probably this up a little bit, flatten this bottom bit out a little. Ah, I'm fine. I got approved for my credit today. Nice. And I will finally sign my contract next Friday for the apartment. Oh, was it a pub? I don't know why. I thought a house, but that's not a bad thing. 
made it sound like I thought it was bad for you. No, have some fun, it's fine. Um, I, don't know, it's, I guess I should prepare to move soon. I moved. I, I, recently I have. It's been about over a year. Every year since I last moved. But every other year, if not every year, I was moving house. Oh, hey, it's the Tottenham guy. <laughs> it's that guy. The mad lad himself. Get it shifted to one side. Still don't think it's in enough. That's a bit better. Now I want to do something like... Uh, I want to do this. See, I don't want to go into... I can't use ZBrush at the moment, but I want to do some cloth things here. But... <laughs> I could do it in ZBrush, I think, but uh, I don't know about Blender, but we'll give it a give it a while. I, I never had now this brush is supposed to work. I kind of just click on places and move it. Let's let's do that. But it kind of does cloth. <laughs> Whoa. I want it to look like it's being pinched here. Can I do that? I do it like a what's that? Cloth filter. Whoa. <laughs> what? Bye. What? Hmm. It's got to be like a pinch, right? Let me. Let's get out of the old pen, shall we? I don't know. Your apartment. We are buying the top floor, the bottom are two apartments, the land is shed. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't know what this tool's doing. This is like a damn standard, surely. Kind of. What's it called? Crease. Why, I, why is it so weak? Oh, there you go. That is indeed looking like a crease. Get one divide in there. Oh, I think we're a bit too over budget. It looked like it was lagging there. I just kind of want it to look like it's pinched here because I'm going to put some rope in it. But I feel like it kind of looks pinched. Uh, <laughs> Not really. No, I mean, it looks all right up here. That's kind of what I want it to look like. Yeah, that works. Oh, so if I get really far away, it acts as a bigger brush. Does ZBrush do that? Press N and check the brush settings. You can... N! Play it. Oh, right. The tool page. Oh! I didn't even realize that. I've not sculpted in Blender in probably 10 years. I just use ZBrush for everything, but it's not working at the moment. Wait, so... Oh, the strength wasn't up. Whoops. Aha! Ooh. Ooh. Auto smooth. Wait, is that like the cursor? No, 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 that doesn't mean that. Kind of. Oh, here's the pinch effect! Oh, so wait, is that a better or worse thing? It's not bad. Don't judge me. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I kind of want smaller. Wait, what's... I... Wait, so... Ah, yeah, okay. Got hardness, which is doing, yeah. What I thought it would do. Okay. Send that down a bit. I mean, it kind of works. What? what can I... That's that button. I need a shortcut to rotate. In ZBrush, I just right click. I don't like pushing middle mouse. It takes my hand. I need to change one of these to middle mouse. One second. 
It's got only been over two years now. I could give you a short lesson at one point if you want. If I find the time, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, so wait, what is this? That's that one. That's fine staying as that. There goes, what does erase mode do? Nothing. Okay, that's fine then. We can change the erase mode to middle mouse click. Function key, there you go. Middle click, okay. All right. Aha. Enable free button, mouse and preferences. But I've, I've, I've done this. <laughs> Getting too pitched up here though. I don't really care about the top too much because I'm gonna care more about what it looks like from the bottom up, but so this is just gonna come to a point and then be a pinch in the middle where like it will um where the bottom's coming up to. Little bit of a smooth, not a hard one. Too harsh, what's good about there? Okay, now a little, little, little bit of a smoothness touch up around here. Can you tell I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing? I'm not much of a sculptor, honestly. I have very specific techniques when it comes to sculpting. I don't want to do something like that, do I? I could do something like that because that gives it a pinched effect like when I'm going to put a rope around it. But I don't think I like that. We can undo in a second, I'm sure. No, I don't like that at all. I'm going to get some rest. Uh, the place I'm getting. Uh, wow! From where I live, and I had to go and come back three times this week. I am so tired. <laughs> oh, good, man. Have a good nap. Hi, Lairborn. How's it going? I've got Mango Pepsi today, by the way. How do I remesh in Blender? Have I remeshed? Oh, I have remeshed. Nice. Get some more smoothness to these. There we go. Not spawning Dynamesh. That's fine. Wait, so how do I then subdivide it now? Detail size. 36. I don't... How do I subdivide it more? How do I do the thing? It's nice to smooth out. Change voxel size of remesh. Voxel size. 0.5. Is that too much? Should I just times it by 5? Is, is that good? That did nothing. Oh, okay. Five. Okay, uh, is it the other way around? Have I got to lower it? I'm so very confused. I missed the brush. Did that remesh it? Oh, it did. Oh. Very interesting. Okay, okay. Now, where's the flatten tool? 
What is that? Multi plane. Whoa. How cool. Well, that's kind of what I want, actually, because I kind of want a bit where I've got. We'll see. I kind of want to like that. Oh wait, it's getting the wrong direction. Wait, so how do I invert that? Wait, wait, is it all? Add. Wait, was that on subtract? I can't believe you've done this. What stroke? Oh. I'll go back to SWAT, Steve. Catch you later. Have a good one, man. It's just me learning. It's fine. Control inverts. Okay, did I undo my remesh? I think I may have. 0.1. Remesh. Has that done it? Okay. Oh, click. It's not doing it. Let's do it that way. I basically want this effect... But reversed. They're not doing nothing. Why do you have to be mad? Oh, fine, I won't use that tool. Have it your way. Oh, it's like a clay. Oh, it's not working, I swear. I was not doing anything. That's not the sculpts. Press out. No, undo. No, 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 no. Go back to the middle. Oh. Why is Alt not doing anything? I can click some tracks. What's that tool? Right. That's blob. That's what's this? Okay. So I could always just do this anyway, so. Have a smaller. Hmm. Maybe CMD instead. CMD? Do you mean control? Control our remeshes. Whoa. Oh, so, wait. Oh, so control. Hold on a minute. So was it was it this one? Yeah. We so press control. It still doesn't like it. This still does. I just basically want like a bit here, right? Like that. I don't actually really know how it goes at the bottom, but it's fine. You won't see the bottom. And then I just want to... I did that as a separate mesh. I want some stitches over it. So I did this usually as textures. I'm just trying to do it here instead. <laughs> Invert. Because you can't really just. You can't really just do that over the top and get your stitches. Well, I guess you kind of can, but it's not right. Did I do a separate mesh? I feel like I should. Where's pinch? Whoa. Oh, why would I tilt my fingers so far? Well, up there. Clay, 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 layer. My hand is in the way. Why is this not the right side? Feel scr scrape. Oh, scrapes the flatten tool. Hell yeah.
Very hard to flatten that bit. Oh, nearly. Are you using a mouse or a tablet? Use a tablet. Got my myself a pen. There you, oh, you know what? You can barely see me when I do that. <sighs> there you go. I'll leave forward. You just see the top of my head more. Exactly what you guys want to see, right? Top of my fat hair. Okay, that's close to one. So after I finish that, I could just be like, uh oh. Oh. Apparently not. I don't know how many polys were. <laughs> it just didn't look like a lot because it was like sharper on those edges. Ah, there you go. Oh. Yeah, let's, let's, let's not. Let's opt out. But that looks so low res. <laughs> Is it not? That's low res, right? Where's your dynamite shit? Oh. So to go lower, I feel like I'm not supposed to. gonna go deeper oh some badness is happening over here clumpiness Oh, I pushed tab. That is very high polyed. It doesn't look that high polyed. Hmm. I'm a professional. Trust me. No. <laughs> Not what I want to say. Is the song making like a squeal sound? Oh, it is. Okay. I thought it was me. I thought one of my devices was going squeaky. Get rid of those faces. Hell yeah. Okay. Go okay, back into sculpting. You can use the fill hole tool in areas. What? Remesh, stroke, texture, advanced, brush settings. Pretend like I don't know what that means. Well, no, I'm not going to pretend. I don't know what that means. How do I... Can I, can I, can I like, get... What is that? There's another floating bit. Hold on a minute. Delete some of you. Oh my god, there you go. I'm doing this while baking lighting. Maybe that's uh, <laughs> not the best idea. Hell yeah. So let's see. So let's see. That's why I never want to be a character artist. You see, you see how difficult I find this? Okay. There you go. Now what I haven't done is go into object mode. Smooth. There we go. Back into sculpting. Get that. There we go. Hey. That's what I wanted. Okay, smooth these bits over so they're not sharpy warpy. How's it going, little bomb? I know that you're usually busy with exams and stuff. 
Is it chill out time at the moment or are you still busy with exams? I think I need to uh keep this at like wait no, that went lower. Keep this at no 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 here. Kind of. Whatever. Okay. Do we have a move brush? Grab. There it is. Mm, this will work better if I had a pinch. Have we got a pinch? Pinch, hell yeah. There we go. Now that looks like it's starting to go a little too much, I think. Let's get a bit smooth. A bit more of that. There. There we go. Okay. A bag of money. A big, big bag of money. No exams, but lots of projects. Gotta make a dog, sculpt normals, rig, animate everything, and character in two separate games. So, yeah. Guess I'm busy. Wow, okay. That's scary. I was never able to find one myself. No one in my ear was. It was a very, uh,. It's partly because they said they'd help us, and then when it came to the day, they were like, lol, no. And we were like, wait, you said you'd help us. That's not what we meant, and then they never helped us, and we were like, oh. Well, so we, we had to try to do it ourselves, but we weren't told we were supposed to do it ourselves. So when it came to the time, we we didn't, you know. It was too late for us to really go look, you know what I mean? This isn't, this isn't going too bad, this isn't going too bad. We're getting somewhere. And somewhere is where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I, I kind of have no idea what I'm doing. But you know what? That's how I get good at most things I get good at. I have no idea what I'm doing. And then we start getting results. It's very weird, but it works. Okay, now, I love experimenting things without having, like, without looking online at all. It's terrible advice. Always look online. It will give you a really good, sh like, shortcut, I guess, to being better at something. But I love not knowing anything about something and then just trying my best. I think it's just such a fun experience. I don't know how much people on stream will enjoy it because a lot of people probably think it's very amateurish. Um, but I love it. I think it's so fun. I think it's, like, one of the best things about software. Because going into a software you've been using hundreds of hours can just get boring you know exactly how to do everything you know it's limitations but when you're using new software and you don't know about its limitations it opens up a completely different like understanding of software and just art and it's so fun um uh, if i don't won't get my deployment really that is so weird well maybe not where you are it might be quite normal there but here that's so weird you get, um, it's got a sandwich year here. You don't get anything extra by actually doing it. You just get experience, essentially.
That's what pretty much what I'm looking for. Oh my lord. I was gonna copy save from here, but I don't think I will now. Instead, we're going to clip to birds of seas. And we're gonna start clipping this, as I just said to vertices. Uh, we are going to select this one, invert, delete all the other vertices. Basically, we're gonna just come around here. Like this, like this. How easy that was. And then we're gonna extrude that out till the okay. oh right. <laughs> Alright, turn off your uh thingy and then extrude it out until we don't see any more of that. Smooth that over. Delete the back face. Nope. that cool maybe I should fill it in a bit better we get graded there's also a specific time period for it down to the date really I think that's bad if you have to look for it yourself, though. Because what if that year just people weren't hiring? Is that not... Has that never happened before? No, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm just going to roughly align this. As you can see, very roughly align it. We turn that one into a triangle. No, no. Yeah. Uh. Oh, there's a two there. Uh. Oh. We can turn us off for a second so I can see what I'm doing. Right, there's another one there, I didn't see that. Oh, this is jamming. Cool. Probably need one on it. I don't want to make it thinner. Let's pull it in and do that. Okay, so that's a bit more. Kind of like a patch. Kind of want it thinner. <laughs> oh, but I can see thin there, but I can start lifting up these places I just made. There you go. Now I'll grab one of these, make it smaller. I like I was like sculpting, and then I've just gone, haha, just kidding, let's do it all box modeling away. <laughs> I just never had a natural talent at all for sculpting. Even in real life, I just, it just, my brain, my brain, my brain just can't uh, handle sculpting. chat I'm like oh that's something new <laughs> oh, excuse me I know what I'm looking for. Kinda there. Uh, what I want to do is quickly into Blender. Uh, see if my scene's actually baked its lighting. It probably did it very quickly. Okay, so it's a bit brighter now.
Not too bad. The walls are still. What's causing that? Is it the light source? Should I be turning this up? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, when you're down here, you probably won't even notice, but it still bothers me. I think, oh, I guess that is leaving. I thought that would be to do with this, though, and I've put this to stupidly high uh, light map resolution. 4K. It does do that when I turn it off. I don't know. Whatever. So the floor still looks pretty dull. That's the movable light for now. Oh, you know what? After picking lighting, always remember to rebuild your reflection captures. Didn't do anything. Okay. This room's a bit brighter now. Nice. Oh, so that was with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was with my directional light. Uh, in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With it on... Static. Look, down here is so dark. Why? It's like this isn't even producing any light. In, why? In here it's working. We might want another one over here, though. Let's blast this one and see what happens. Let's go, like, 25. I don't know if I should delete this window for that. Car shadow, no. Will that allow this to make a bait light? Is this even making a light? Oh, it is. What's the achievement range? Get there. Okay, tell it to a stack. Turn you down to 10, just in case that one does work now. And let's fake that. Once I got all the... Wait. I think this competition is just overwhelming because unlike with modeling, I somehow never know what to do first. I've only done character till now. I know the general workflow, but down to the detail question mark. Once I got... Hey, med command. Once I get... I got all the proportions and shapes right. I just can't decide where to start refining it. Yeah, I mean, I've always set to sculpting, as you can tell by my blender right now. But we're kind of getting what we want, but this top bit still doesn't look right at all. What was if I subdivide this now? No, I did that earlier. Look, look how high resolution it is. But how? <laughs> Let's decimate. Where is decimate? Two hundred forty-five thousand. No way. What? It looks retro. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> uh oh. Oh yeah. Oh. This is why I like ZBrush. I could have as many. I could have like 10 million polys and it won't have any problems. That didn't look like a change at all. Two. Freeze it again. Let's go. Wait, is there a reflection suit down there? I don't just can. There's two. <laughs> hope you guys enjoy <laughs> Matt you guys have a like of a tiny spot up here like right between like where your nose pretty much connects to your face it's kind of disgusting when your nose kind of connects to your face you can sometimes get spotted it's so I always pop my spots because they go away much quicker I know you're not supposed to it's impossible to pop because it's like in an area where you can't get pressure from two sides to cause it to happen Blender are you okay are you alright man I'm sorry I didn't mean to hurt you I never meant to hurt you. Well, why you freak out? I'm going to open up another scene. <laughs> and destroy my PC. Because <laughs> I want to use some rope. And I can't bother remaking the way I did the rope, so. Oh, 
All right, where's the room? There you are. Uh, so I want a version of you that isn't so drastic. I'm cleaning you, I'm cleaning you. There you go. I want to uh, touch you. And you. Nope, not you. You and you. There you go. That selection. Delete all of them. There you go. Don't want to do that. There you go. Sweet. So that's all of you. Copy, because I think that works, right? If I just control C. Aha! Quick. Apply. Uh oh. I can't believe I've done this. I swear I didn't go down any faces. Like it went down like like five percent maybe. Oh yeah, I like waiting. I like waiting for my software to unfreeze. I'm probably abusing Blender right now. Anyone who's like into Blender sculpting is like, why is it two hundred thousand? What is wrong with you? And I'm sitting there like ZBrush. <laughs> Here's my assessment. Oh, in our chat, who added me? I'll make a video soon sculpting in Blender. It's fine. I'm getting the hang of it. Gonna go s and sleep. Still trying to cure my cold. Was... Oh, yeah, you said you had cold last time as well. You said you get it for quite a long period. See ya, have a good one. Hope you're gonna cure cold. Oh, hey! So, did I really reduce any of its body count? Not really mm. i also accidentally uh kept that out so that's oh got that got rid of that should i say there you go right paste oops four objects pasted hey hey let's uh scale you up actually so it's easier to just wrap this around instead of scaling it down scanning it down is always more awkward i found Ooh. I was going that's on it's already connected to a uh curve and everything is that the size i want it i want it chunky so maybe a maybe a little bit smaller oh no 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 what i didn't even have that selected why did it show me the wireframe of that let the curve oh is that just the curve there you go Oh yeah. Ah, I should really do it as a starting point. Yeah. Pull it, pull it back. Pull you back. Squeeze it in. Let's go over something like this to hide the fact of what we're doing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, kind of gets a bit funky there, so we'll grab not you. You know, pull it out. Just to add to give it space. Cool. And then we wanna Yeah, pitch should be fine. Oh, yeah, that's looking like what I want. It's like really sharp pinches here. But, uh, probably, let's, let's move this around a little bit. Um, uh, should I control, uh, control, uh, oh, much lower as I was expecting. 
That's good. That's so no, don't paint yet. What I want to do is I want to mark it in. So tough to weak, tough to weak, tough. Same down here. Oh, wait, I'm getting way further than I was expecting. Jesus. Not quite. Uh, a little, little too hard, a little too hard. Right idea, though. Turn that strength down. Turn that hardness up. Quite strong, but definitely better. I mean, like I said, I'll don't come into pinch. And pull them together like this. I don't think that's awful. Right? Right, Scoop. Okay, okay. Oh, why did I hit tab? No. I know it's high poly. So what if I were to like... Because how would I make a low poly of this now? If I just went like this. That's not the way to do it. Alright, so what would be the best way to make the low poly of this now? I have an idea, but I'm not, not too sure I want to do it. Because I know it's very time consuming. We'll have a go, we'll have a go. So the way I remember doing it back in university was then you essentially, in Blender, I guess you could just use uh, a vertice. Basically like I was doing earlier, we'll just start coming around and try to make up the shape. Pretty sure there's a uh, a uh, X-ray mode anyway, but I don't make this more transparent so I can see the mesh underneath. Mm. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Right, is this done yet? Okay. Look, why is this still so dark? That is definitely coming through now, though. I feel like this just doesn't... Is it because the achievement's too low? Could be the reason. What's upstairs look like? Did I change it? Oh, wait. Oh, so this looks a bit brighter now. That's nice.
go like this into high resolution. Oh wow, put it quite high. I just feel like it needs a higher. Let's go something like this. What's the bed on? Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't have. I still got kind of. Let's go 512. Let's go again. Back to Blender. It's got to be a way. It got normal wireframe, but I'm not going to have to really see what's going on, am I? I guess I kind of can. Oh my god. Oh no, because it'll go through it. Mm. Blender X ray. I need extra in Blender. In order to shift your method of viewing of your object, is that just you called X-ray? Several choices. Right. Up here, no. This will enable you option of talk. Oh yeah, you got this. Oh yeah, I guess I could just do that. I'm an idiot. Of course I could just do that. Oh no, I can't. Versus, come on. What? When I x-ray, it won't attach to the vertices. Really? That's dumb. <laughs> it's probably a reason, but... It's not fitting my current agenda. I don't like it. <laughs> There's a shortcut for this, so... I'll see, I'll see. What? That didn't do anything. They just loaded up in the video. <laughs> you know, why don't we just manually move it out? Turn this off and manually move it out. There you go to fit the shape. That'd be faster and not as stressful. He says. Oh, I put down down. Whoops. It's definitely a better way to do this. In Maya, it's called like Live 2D. But obviously, I don't know what it is in Blender. So we're just going to roughly make it the shape. Because right now, that's the only way I know to do it. Okay. I'm just curious to how well this would turn out doing it this way. I have no idea how I'm going to do the top. Mm. Up! Oh. Up! Oh. <laughs> like this isn't gonna work at all what's your tips to make a low poly dedicated ghost maybe i should have just kept my low poly that's what i usually do but i did this time that's probably why i'm suffering shrink modifier i forgot that existed good idea that's a really good idea so if i get the general sh uh, generic shape of it right i should then be able to just shrink wrap it hell yeah blender why are you why are you gonna be like this i wish my z brush was working <laughs> i mean what Blender's as good as ZBrush. You never actually been there. So 
So if I make this a bit bigger and then go to shrink wrap it, that's how you do it, right? Why well, if I go to shrink wrap it now? That's not going to work at all, is it? Because I've not got this part all sorted. What's it called? Shrink wrap, shrink wrap, shrink wrap, shrink wrap to you. Actually, I'm not too upset with that. Wait, this part's a little bit weird. You can up the offset. Oh. oh god, what the hell is happening over here? Need a couple more, I think, in certain areas. I'm learning today. I see, I see. So that part's done pretty well, but down here is still having some problems. Not terrible problems. What well, if I get to bring that in now? Bring you up. That's not up, up figure. Oh, yeah. Aha! You're coming in, Fuds, with these these knowledge bombs. Oh, no, no, I, I prefer surface point. Check. Whoa! That looks even more accurate now. <laughs> Sorry. No, this looks funny to me. If I keep pulling you down, no problem. And it is a problem. It's me not knowing how to use Blender. It's me being too reliant. Uh -huh. Too reliant on actually works really well on um other software, you know. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, man. You can't see my other hand. I'm, I'm sort of doing this. Got this like freaking twirly hair. Oh, whoa. Over my face. All right, anyways. <laughs> um, so is this subdivided? I made this one ages ago. No, it's not. That's a shame. So I want to see how well this actually bakes now. Let's get an unwrap for just this, and then we'll take the bag out as well. And we'll just see how well that bakes. <laughs> I'm not that bad, Fuds. I don't know if you've been on the channel before. I actually do make things. I'm not... I am amateur, but I'm not that amateur. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway. Um... Wait, so why is this so high now? Yeah, I've been following you for quite a while. Oh, nice. Have you enjoyed the content? Have I provided you with some form of either entertainment or learning environment? I normally just like, ah. But you're coming in today like, I know how to help. And I respect that, you know? So some of these haven't wrapped very well at all. I didn't realize that. Let's redo it. That's a bit better, right? Yeah. But I kind of want outside surface. So that's project. So project we don't want. Cause project doesn't seem to do it as tightly. We get outside. Oh, outside does that too. Outside surface seems to be giving a bit of a better result. I think I need uh, another one in here, maybe another one here, there you go. Yeah? Yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, just saw the Simpsons vid, nice. 
Very awkward video. I enjoyed doing it, but very awkward. Um, I've never done a sponsorship before, so it's definitely a very interesting. I, it was a bit of a different working environment. I, I obviously work at a company right now and I'm making something, but it was definitely different uh, doing a sponsorship like that. It was very enjoyable. And it was done in a very short time. I, I know people are probably sick of me saying that, but I want to stress it was done in a very short three days, man. I did it in. I was I was so happy um, that in three days I got it to look the way it did. Do I do something like? You usually want it a tiny bit coming out of it, right? When you do a low poly. It's different than my workflow a little bit. Alright, see what this looks like. Hey man, the main thing I want to do is just want to help you guys learn something. So if you actually learn anything from that, that makes me happy. Because that's the big part of my videos. That's what I want it. That's what, what that's what I want all my videos to be. I want them to help you learn. That should unwrap fine. I don't see why that'd be any problem. I should reset its transformations to make sure the unwrap's fine. The unwrap is fine. Cool. Now I just want to test how this works. So let's first just test it with the base. This, just this. If that works fine, we'll put the patch of stuff on the um the bake as well. I don't have high hopes for this, but I've been proven wrong before my own work uh is the scene baked yet what was that oh that was art station <laughs> i i didn't even see art station up oh all oh, right i showed it earlier didn't i Please. this person liked your simpson scene thank you very much if you're in the chat and you liked it um new folder oh it's called like a coin purse isn't it those little money bags Coin. A curse purse. Coin purse. I know you guys couldn't see that, but I wrote curse purse. Export. Yeah. Oh bum. I didn't collect I didn't select selected objects only. Let's try that again. Shall we? Select objects only. Boom. Select you. Do the same thing. So call this one a high poly. It's the Abstience Painter. Man, I got no more Pepsi Mango. That was actually really nice. 150 calories a can, though. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to be a fat boy. Uh, let's have a look around. Yeah, I bet we already new looks right. This looks better now. There you go. The great dark spots here. What does it look like on the outside? Yeah, it looks good. This is still, yeah, movable light. Whoa. Why is that coming off? Like black. I mean, it's fine with this light hitting it, but that's not the point. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what's causing that. So I've got quite a bit of darkness down here. This room looks fine now. Again, build pleasure captures. Cool. You can always turn this up or down to increase those reflections. Which we don't want. We want it to be one. Right. Why does down here still look so dark? How bright have I got to make you? I've got to make you tell you yellow as well. Look how bright it is. On... Maybe... Am I like missing something? Static shadows. Yeah, we're casting static shadows. I don't understand. Let's go. Ha let's go thirty. Right. Let's bring this inside. That is not inside. Let's bring this inside. 
I, I mean, I still want the shadows from there, but I'm just, just more just testing at this point. Let's have it like completely light up the place. Set you to one. In here is definitely look a bit a bit more what I'm what I'm sort of hoping. We're getting these like light patches, so this is probably where I'll have my hanging lights. Um, it's looking pretty nice in here now. And then outside looks okay at the moment. We gotta remember this doesn't have you could see it here. Look, these don't have really light maps or unwraps on them at the moment, so. Oh, what the? He needs to be two sided. There we go. This part doesn't move here. I mean, you're gonna see it from like this far away, but I don't feel it's too noticeable. I still need to get a good texture for these. So I also want to know why that's coming out like black. That does have a separate. So it's the back face clearly that's causing the issue. I wonder. The directional light, what are you on? 2.5. If I turn you too high, you're a bit too blasted. Mm, I think I can have you on 5. Because that's adding on top of our um, like, thingy. You'll know what I mean when it comes into it. Alright, let's do. Any change you want to do in here? So again, I'm going to have to put a light in here because it doesn't make sense to just have this glow. But, uh, it's not terrible. Uh, let's set you to a static as well. And let's just say to you. To you. So I kind of just want to see how they work when they're built. Okay. Back to Blender. No, no, no. Back to Substance. I never update my Substance. I've only got 41 days left of Substance. That is terrifying my work should have a subscription waiting for me though so i mean that'd be nice coin purse low poly yes moment of truth i'm not very excited about this because i don't think it's gonna work i really don't think this is gonna work Okay, so the distance isn't far enough right now. So that's why that's happened. Okay, got that crease in though. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go 0 0.1, 0 0.1. That's 10 times it. We're still not going the full distance. You can see by it cutting off there. Let's go 0 0.2, 0 0.2. There you go. Well, kind of. It's still just missing a little bit by that bit. is not working very well too very interesting though very interesting get back into blender that's like here right that's because it's oh no that's because in the low poly on the high poly nothing exists there right so basically we're having issues because it's trying to make something there was like must exist. So what if we did this? Did this? Wrong one. It's kind of moved it a bit more, but it's now overlapping itself. 
No service point, first two zero point five. Too much, zero point one. Still overlapping itself. Why is that? Because of this. Oh my, what has it done? This just come up here more. This has definitely got some more wiggle room, but how much more is there? Loads. Okay. So maybe I just need to start deleting faces here, to be honest. No, that and that. But this. Hmm. We're getting very good at thingy here, so let's just do a cut across there. There you go. That's more around that shape now. What about Jesus Christ? What's happening here? What is happening in there? I have no idea. What is that? Better. Not brilliant though. We need something here. Okay. Bit of a squeeze here. Hmm. It looks fine, yeah. What about here? We'll subdivide it one. It'd be kind of defeating the purpose of having it as a low poly if I did that, wouldn't it? All right. See how that performs now. Okay. Now I also wanna I, I wanna add these. Uh, do set the low poly. There you go. Put this high poly. Wait, not yet. I need to edit, re put it in. Oh, I did. You have to say I didn't re UV map, mm, UV map it. Has this done yet? Oh, did I not click build? Uh, oh, why did I hit tab? I'm not selecting the right one. There you go. Am 
My mouse, I swear to God, was over the low poly. I just saved over the high poly by accident. Uh, so that's all that. Let's see the low poly. See that? That's going to be an issue here. Hmm. I'm tried. I've tried. I miss you, brush. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens now. So, first of all, re bring it back in. Oh, lovely. Uh, bake using, make sure, using the new high poly. Bake. Huh? Huh? Okay. What about the patch? <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm a. Uh, uh, I'm. I'm a bit more convinced now. Just, just a little bit, but I'm a bit more convinced. Huh? Why was there a bit of material in there? Just go for a wooden one, stylized. Uh, probably one these ones. I see those parts are still having a big issue. Can I fix them just by turning this up to a button? Nah, it doesn't like it at all. Yeah, that part as well. So I just need to define, define those bits a little. And we should start seeing better results. Definitely getting more interested though. Question is, how hard is it going to be now to deselect? Because I could, um, I could deselect it manually in here, or I could do a color map for them, which should work. But I don't think it'd be too hard to just do it in here either. See what I mean? I mean, you could even do it in here. would have thought i would work eight hours today doing 3d art come on just stream and go let's learn something new how to do a high to low poly and blender using a sculptor so like that like now it keeps it separate which means i could then take another like layer change it to the color i want which apparently would be more this. Sorry, that's mine. Not really the colour I'm looking for. I still want it to be like here, just a bit 
yeah like that then i want that on all of them then i want it to have a drop shadow hmm. very very interesting i probably won't get this done today but good test I i'm very impressed by that to be honest I didn't expect it to come out looking all right because I've done stuff like that before from ZBrush and it just doesn't work very well. But this one actually uh, gave us some really good results. That's what I'm looking for. See that? That little bit comes there. But I don't want these parts. So let's go just under that. Slight. Slight blur. Turn it down a tad to get rid of those other bits. Actually, maybe a bit of a sharp one would help. Yeah, there you go. Something like that. Same with that. Um, that's actually got the right colouring on it. I just need to change the colouring, which again will be the same sort of thing. Of course, you do this black mask. I'm just colouring with the top of a new colour. Um, Copy the color from the other screen. That does not look right. That looks like it's still translucent. Hmm. Maybe it's this edging that's throwing me off. I think I'll do another one. Because again, you'd look at it from like back here, so you're not going to care about some of these really minor details in the um, in it. And I'm probably going to reduce its quality anyway. I mean, we've got two two uh, K. It'd probably be wow. Would it be this? Probably. Say like this. One K looks all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, if I were to put this in a game, it wouldn't be 2K quality anyway. I do like working in 2K. I, I tend to like working in double what I'm going to import it as. So if I'm going to import this as 1K, I like working in 2K.
Hmm. I'm off for the day. Enjoy the rest of your stream, man. Enjoy, man. Thank you for the help. I really don't like that color it's giving me for this. I don't know. Do I just need it darker? Maybe. A big of it, I'd say a big of it's part of, a, a bit of it's part of this as well. I've not been very accurate with its placement. It's making the illusion it is drawn on, which is obviously what I have done. But I obviously don't want it to look like that. Okay, I need like a a deep shadow on the deep fear. I wonder if the easiest way to do that would do a duplicate on this. Do a blur on that. So that's a multiply that underneath this layer. So it like black. See that? And it gives it like a shadow. And then I could always do a levels and make that shadow tighter. And then I can make it as weak as I want. So obviously no shadow, shadow. Tell me. I can do the same with these guys. Duplicate, put it underneath. Blur. Multiply. Pop it over here. Uh, uh, levels. Let's take this out more to get a stronger effect. Or I could always turn this down to get a darker color as well. And then, yeah, if I turn blur up, we come out a bit more. And then turn this down, make it a bit weaker. Do a of shadows on that. Shadow, oop, shadow on that. About with does give it a more 3D effect. Oh, you know what? I bet the roughness put me off. Hmm. <sighs> Hello, Steve. Hello, Wolf. We're trying something new today, so don't judge me. Touch me. <laughs> so that seems to be the best way to do it. So pop this not here. I'd actually need to pop it here. Wait, did it not have a black mask already? I didn't. Oh, because what I did was do that, right? Just white mask that or Copy mask. Paste into mask and then invert. Okay. Pop that top of here. White mask that. Oh, that didn't work. What? Okay, I'll just do it manually. Wait, what? Oh, did I track the wrong one? Hold on a minute, I'm so confused. That's colouring in that. I must. A money bag. It is a money bag, but I've done it all in Blender and I want to see how well I could do the high to low poly thing. So we've got a low poly here and we've got a high poly here. See? 
I basically want to see how well it you just using blenders sculpting and stuff I could um achieve the effects in substance I mean one thing I want to add quick just because it always makes it look better in fact can I just drag that in? drag that in Take you to oh oh wait which was that let's go for it all these all add really nice things that's our ai all oh, right, let's drag them out of here. That help. Yeah. Ao, more highlights. A gradient. I do not want a roughness on. I want to change where we're going. Like that. I don't even know what this is. Maybe I'll get rid of that. I also enjoy that that a hey, money bag just made like was that it? <laughs> it's money bag. So we're still getting these black spots here. I don't really have to fix that right now, but. So what does it look like without that? Without normals, with normals. Without normals. I kind of prefer it without normals. The normals add a depth to it, but it's like too much. I bet I've got rid of the AO as well. It looked trash. Yeah, and the same with the highlights, you probably get. Um... Yeah, see that but honestly the normals in my opinion don't add too much so i might get rid of those hey miles wilson how's it going man probably a terrible streams joining on because i am doing something very unique today that i'm not used to so i do apologize if i look like i'm trash while doing it absolute garbage have you seen the video and the guy's like absolutely sagoy So good it's your stream no it's our stream it's our stream my black glove ow <laughs> my little finger cracked ouchies why is that so shiny now do you see that huh what's causing that to go shiny shiny is it this so none of you should really ha that can have color Actually, technically, this can have color. Uh, roughness, sorry. Because then I can change... How shiny that is. That has to look shiny. Okay. We're getting somewhere. And somewhere is where I like to be. Why can't I paint on that? That's why. So now we want to. We got a number one victory right now. Uh. Ah, there you go. How's it going, man? That's to uh, Wilson. Mr. Wilson over here. You having a good day? Had a good week? Are you looking forward to the weekend? Are you a 3D artist? Are you a 2D artist? Tell me the deets. Give me the goods. Show me the money. No way. I've got the money. I'm the one making the money bag. Ooh. 
Again, I'm pretty sure you, I've never done it, but I'm pretty sure you could just do all this essentially with ID maps from the high poly. Uh, never done it before. I probably should know how to do it because it's probably a very basic thing you should know how to do. But ignore the hair. Ignore the luscious hair coming from my head. <laughs> Let's tone this down so I can push a little bit harder. When I was like starting off as a 3D, I always thought I'd be really fast doing your thing. And in a way, that's still true, especially at my job. I can't spend like one week making one prop. Even if it's a hero prop, that's just not not uh that's just too much you will say not bad had to go into london office today the lack of masks was impressive oh oh i don't really understand why masks a lot of people are just going to disagree with this hopefully not people in chat but i don't quite know why we lifted mask mandates so early like oh yeah everyone's back open now and you know what no more masks what why what what <laughs> it confused me i was like you open it everywhere back up, but you're just taking masks off? He took his mask off. It's so strange to me. My thinking is public transport and indoors equals fun. Yeah, I just, I don't really get it. Admittedly, I haven't been wearing my mask going to the local shop, but eh, it's not very far away. I'm not interacting with almost anybody in that time. Very, very quiet. Let's check the scene now. I was baking lighting in the background. I think this is a little too dark. But then again, why? Why is this not getting a two-side light? You look. This is. These walls are. Oh, wait. Hold on a minute. Oh, that's because they're not two-sided. But you are. Oh. Hmm. That's very, very annoying. I might have to just make another plane, pull it out, flip it. Maybe. Some of the colours I think are alright. I think this is way too reflective on the surface. Is this the right? Yeah, linear colour, yeah. Hmm. Uh... One flag. Flying boat is coming along nicely. What's been the toughest part for the project so far? Um, walls, man. Walls. I still don't know how I want to do them. I'm not very good with that. I'm not very good with interior walls. Like Simpsons recently, the scene I made wasn't too bad because it's just like a plaster and then I just essentially tiled it across all the walls. And there's not much break in them at all so i don't have to worry about build up of grunge and stuff but with this scene i've got all these so like and especially downstairs oh you guys get a bit more lighting now what the what what's the light mass on this oh light map sorry resolution whoops uh, i guess i could turn it up let's just go ham but um yeah, like, I just don't really know what to, you know, don't really know what to fill it in with. Just having a, having a bit of trouble with it, you know. Oh, two, eight, four, eight. 
Other stuff's getting quite nice lighting on it now, though. Ignore the seat at the walls down now. I've just disabled that. And the bedroom looks pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's coming along. I just need a really good material for it. I think as soon as I get that, I can start putting decals on the walls to make it have grunge build up. It, it'll be easy in here because decals will just be flat against here. And then you'll just have like some of those grunge effects and make it look like there's like, I guess, grunge coming down the wall. Um, I haven't done this yet. But like down here, it's all curved stuff. So I think decals won't cut it. Maybe I could do a really high, maybe I could make it higher poly than do a vertex paint. Looks sells them already though, thank you. Already? God, I've been working this for ages. <clears throat> I should have just made, I was gonna make another like fish station scene. I don't know what really sparks the interest in this scene. I was gonna make like another one like this. Because this was super fun. Yeah. Um, as you can see, there's like your little in animations and stuff as well. We'll get a train coming here. I, you've probably seen this before. Uh, but I was going to do another one of this guy's artwork because I've obviously um, just uh, took the concept from this guy. But he's done loads of cool stuff. Whoa, is that a new one? Wait, is this actually a game? Oh, wait, is that it? No, is that a drawing? Oh, I think that's still a drawing. That looks 3D. That looks cool. Um, but yeah, I was going to, because I obviously, yeah, like did this one, but I was going to do some more of these, but probably this one. But because I'm silly Billy, I started on a <laughs> on this scene. It's taken me forever. And I've even, the fact that I made a character for it, she's not brilliant. And I need to still do her, eye, her eyes. But yeah, I've not done a character in God knows how long. So that was, that was a big deal for me. Oh yeah, these are BSPs, aren't they? Anyways, um, back to here. These are probably just going to be... Hold on a minute. Oh, whoops. I mean, I wanted to be these this colour anyway. But I didn't realise I was already using that colour. Probably not that light. Probably a bit darker. Something like that. And then again, I'd have to... I'll do it in a minute. I'll show you. I, I did it a second ago, but if you didn't see earlier. Uh, so I like keeping it as like a, a red anyway. I do this. Uh, so I can see what I'm actually cutting out and keeping. And then I like change the color later. What I actually want. Or oh, you might bring it into UE5 for a test. Uh, maybe. I think I already have brought it to UE5 for a test. I think it was UE5 I brought it to. Because Lumen would basically make it so I don't have to worry about freaking um, uh, baking my lighting. I also kind of wanted to try RTX on it, but I I don't have an RTX uh, RTX sorry um, ray tracing, but I don't have an RTX card, so it runs a little slow on my 1080 Ti. Which is crazy to me. 1080 Ti, like when I, when I got it, it was just like, oh my god. And now it's like, oh yeah, but you know, doesn't do ray tracing very well. I'm like, oh, oh wow, okay. Of course, when I buy an expensive card, they bring out a whole new thing for the next cards. That changes everything. I just waited like a year or two. To be fair, I got kind of, kind of cheap, so I can't complain. Again, we don't have to be too accurate because you'll probably see it from like here, right? I'm getting annoyed at, at everything that uh, this. I don't want it sharper. I want it sharper and I want it to be. Is it at max brightness? It is. What if I do a duplicate? 
turn the duplicate down a little bit. Well, no, because it gets way too strong up here. What happens if I... Nah. I bet it fire at uh, 4k. Oh. Well, that guy just looked down. He can't see me at all. It's because I'm, I'm drawing, man. I'm drawing. I haven't used my tablet properly in forever. There's a lot of work I did at work at the moment I can achieve without actually having to do high polys and stuff. So it's, that's kind of what, partly why I wanted to do it today, like do some uh, high to low poly stuff. Because I'm very out of practice with it, as you can probably tell. Cool. Now let's get the color I'm looking for. Which is roughly there. Maybe there. Hmm. Cool. Then I got to duplicate it. Pull it underneath. Set it to a multiply. Go. Uh, take away the color. Make it dark. Filter. What time is it? I probably should end streaming soon. Blur. And then we can always add a level. Turn that up. There you go. So now we've got a shadow underneath it. Same for over here. Hmm. We're going to send the blood out of its head to bring that shadow in. There you go. And then we can repair that. Cool. Again, I think it looks better about the normal map. Like with normals, without normals. I think it looks better without the normals, man. So let's kind of get into a look we're, we're wanting. I think I need like some pinks in here. parts down the middle maybe not quite pink oh yeah like that it may be more of a red What if I want to purchase fast food in disguise as my own cooking? Ooh, delightfully devilish. Mm. Just want the almost. Maybe. Don't need the height, or maybe just the height. No, no more. <laughs> and tone it down to get very, very soft, and then maybe make it like two. Hmm. 
don't know. I don't think I like that. Jesus, man. I mean, what does that look like if I turn, turn that down a bunch? Not too bad. I don't know why that's shiny. I feel like I'm missing something here. None of these are giving any shine, is it? No. The only thing I can think of is this one. You're not giving any shine. Oh. Going to play some zombie army four, nice. Oh wow, it's only four uh sixteen dollars. Good luck with Dubai. Have a go, man. Sorry, I may have missed that. Soft color does not work for this at all. I think overlay is the way to go. Right, yeah, second lot of uh of this. They call do a real big one like that and blur it kind of maybe not how's it been steve not too bad chilling mainly how about you man yeah definitely i definitely don't think this looks very good but a step in the right direction it's good practice Is this built yet? 99% not yet. The floors come out so dark. Pretty good. Nice, nice. It's always good to hit. This part here still annoys me. Not really much to do about it though, is there. What happens if we do one subdivide on it? I know, again, it defeats the purpose. Of it being a low poly, but I'm just curious. No one shrink wrap it. What's it there? Cool. Uh, do we want it on? Oops. Do we want it? Do we want it on surface or do we want it outside? Inside. Outside surface. On the surface. I think we just want it on the surface. But this must come in like really far in now. Like this part's not helping at all. Maybe that's the way to go. We're still getting those bits, really. Still getting these like dark spots. Why? I don't get it. What's the problem with uh, those parts? Is it just really not staying on them very well? So. Uh... If those two black spots were that I don't think we'd be looking as bad. But because of those looking so weird. So look, look, look how far over that's going. Look, it goes down real far here. If I 
bring this over and bring this up. Get more accurate to there. And we just need to lift this up to here. Cool. So that is now a bit better here. And where's a rather dark spot usually? Next, so it's a bump up and then the next bump down. So where was I just set in? Here. Bump up and the next bump down. So here. We get some really tough overlapping doing that. Okay. Let's try that. Let's, uh, uh if we do a apply of parent, clear parent, it transforms. And then convert to mesh. Well, that's obviously too high poly, but if I then do this, decimate this one. I'll subdivide the two times. Three times. Four times. Three times. Four times is too much, but let's bit. And it's like this one, subdivide you one more time. Cool, then I take this and this. Nope, this and this. This. Well, I can't tell which one's my high poly anymore. This one's my high poly, okay. Nope. Yes. Those two. Let's put those two as my high poly. How high poly is it? There you go. Uh, hide those now and then take these. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. That. That. That is all my high poly, right? Yes. That is all my high poly. FBX. High poly. So I to add that to a collection so I can keep it. Towards the collection. How do I create collection? Okay, whatever. I'll just hide it for now. What you guys? Uh, I think you'd be about this. I had a feeling that wouldn't work, so do that. I think I technically just need to select one edge marks. Mm, not really. Uh, let's instead just do a smart for now. There you go. That's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I don't need material for this one. Cool. And then, oh, I've done it now, didn't I? Let's you and you file export FBX Clipless Lay Poly. I could put this a little too high. Yeah. Probably should have set it to an overlay as well.
Are you serious? It's got different materials, but I've named them differently. <laughs> it's called a base one default material. Serious? Add default material. Assign. Oh, oh wait, I can see what this looks like. So it doesn't look too bad up here. I just think the floor looks, does it look too, mm, I don't know. Go check downstairs now. Kind of, kind of working. Still looks weird. Cause this needs to be outside. I've just, oh, I've not even put it inside i thought it did because it needs to really be back here this one looks a bit better in here now hmm hard to judge hard to judge oh yeah and i set this to a stack now ah so it causes like a softer Okay. Okay. Good testing today from that as well. We did a bit of both work today. We're testing things too. We've saved up for now. I feel like. Yeah, I don't think I changed anything else on it. Well, that was good progress. Uh, let's try to get this. Try to get this working. We'll do. We'll quickly do another high to low poly, and then I'm gonna call it a day. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. So get rid of that. Repop it in. Fake. See, I had, a, I had a feeling that would happen. I should have exported it separately. I'll do that quick. Because, yeah, I had a feeling it was going to bake it onto there. <laughs> Unless I combined... The... No, because they've got different UV maps. I can't combine them. Um, and hide. You. Oh, my God. It's like the underneath one. Wow, really? It's like this one, man. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. So don't select that. There you go. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. We call that one coin purse. Yes. Hide that. Then get the high poly one of this. And call that coin bus high uh, rope high poly spot. Cool. Now in here, I should be able to redo that uh, coin bus high poly bake, and then I should be able to go over to the rope and then bake the high poly rope onto the low poly rope. I don't think it's going to work very well though, but we'll see. Oh, whoops! I'm baking the rope at the same time by accident. No, no, no. no. Just fake default material. Wait, the, the rope isn't back faced, is it? <laughs> oh, thank God. I thought I ate spaces were inverted, but it's not. Okay, now go to my rope. Why was if I bake? The high poly rope now. Kind of. <laughs> uh, not really. Eh. Oh, well, it was off a shot. Mm. 
Metal rope. Yeah, that's that's not baked well at all. You know what? I have got these turned up a lot though. Let's see what I can these turned down. No. Because everything's too close to one another. It's like picking up multiple parts of it. That's why it's a little bit better. Can I copy... this yes I don't want the brush stuff <laughs> no I don't want the brass I left that I clicked that by it so uh, so yeah all of that except we want it to obviously be a different color I'm not sure what color probably a much lighter color Kind of working. Maybe a darker color. Yeah. The only problem is that we don't get the shade from it now, but I could always just, you know. Obviously, this is very over the top right now, but we can adjust it a second. It's basically trying to get it to actually look like it's causing a deep shadow. Is this not soft? No, it's soft. there yeah that's kind of a money bag it wasn't great or is it great but for just doing it in blender and i have no practice in blender i think we got a decent result this actually doesn't look very good at all though does it this rope it's the sharpness maybe i just shouldn't have released it that much Oh well, I don't think it was a bad, uh, a bad show. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> me making a bag, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, lighting renders of the scene. And I will catch you guys on Sunday. I didn't even expect to stream this long, but oh well. And yeah, I'll catch you guys then. Bye.